Today we will learn division in algebra using two very simple expressions. So my first expression is 27 a to the power 5 divided by 9 a square. How it can be written as? This can be written as 27 a to the power 5 divided by 9 a square right now let's expand the right hand side of this equation so it the right hand side can be expanded as 27 multiplied by a multiplied by a multiplied by a multiplied by a and multiplied by one more a this will be the numerator of the expression and this whole thing is divided by 9 multiplied by a multiplied by a right so the 1a of the denominator will cancel 1a in the numerator and this a will cancel one more a in the numerator and the numbers will divide each other so 9 ones are 9 9 3 is a 27 right so how can we write this? This can be written as we have one constant which is 3. Then we have variables. All of them are a, 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 a. Three times they are in multiplication. So it can be written as a cube. Right? So what we are actually doing? We are actually doing normal division among constants or numerals and we are subtracting the indices or the powers of variables. So 27 divided by 9, we got 3, right? And we have only one variable, which is a. We have a to the power 5 in the numerator and a to the power 2 in the denominator. So what we actually are doing, this can be written as a to the power 5 minus 2 because 2 a's of the denominator cancelling out or removing exactly 2 a's from the numerator. This can be written as 3 a to the power 3. So when we have same variable in numerator and denominator both, so what we do? How the variables behave? The variables behave like their behavior is variable then index of numerator minus index of denominator right so this is the way how variables behave in division so if we remember this our division will be very easy and we can do it very fast. So this was a simple example of division. Let me take one more example of division where the expression is we have to divide 4 a square b square c cube by a b square c cube right so we will learn it in the both the ways how it can be done without using this formula and how that answer is proved to be correct if we solve it using formula also so let me first write it in fraction format so it will be 4 a multiplied by a and then we have b square that is this thing multiplied by b multiplied by b and then we have c cube so this will be multiplied by c multiplied by c multiplied by c right and in denominator we will have a multiplied by b multiplied by b and then it is multiplied by three c's so multiplied by c multiplied by c and multiplied by c so let's solve it further so this c will get cancelled with this c 
and this C will get cancelled with this C get cancelled with C B will cancel this B and this B will cancel this B and A will cancel this A so we are left with 4 A C Q right now let's solve this using this formula so when we divide 4 A square B square C square by A B square let me write it again 4 A square B square C cube divided by A B square and C cube we will get 4 will be as it is and A to the power A has 2 in the power in numerator so 2 minus in denominator it has power as 1 multiplied by b to the power 2 the power in the numerator minus 2 the power in the denominator and multiplied by c to the power 3 minus 3 right so what will we get we will get this is equal to 4 a to the power 2 minus 1 that is 1 so if 1 is the power we don't write it b to the power 2 minus 2 that is b to the power 0 multiplied by c to the power 0 right and as we can see from here b to the power 2 divided by b to the power 2 that is b to the power 2 minus 2 is nothing but 1 so the whole thing can be written as 4 a and b to the power 0 that means 1 and c to the power 0 that is also 1 so 1 multiplied by any other number or any other expression gives us the same expression so 4 a square b square c cube divided by a b square c cube will give us 4 a as quotient right and we have also understood one thing that any alphabet or any variable to the power 0 is actually 1 why because here we have b square divided by b square that is b to the power 2 minus 2 so b square divided by b square gives us 1 but b to the power 2 minus 2 gives us b to the power 0 so this and this both are equal so any variable to the power 0 is actually equal to 1. So now we have understood the basics of division in algebra. Because two a's of the denominator cancelling out or removing exactly two a's from the numerator.